Hi, this is Blake, and we are hot mapping with JOSM as a basic introduction, and this is about how to map a road. So I have a task square selected, and I'm going to say Start Mapping. When I click on Edit with JOSM, or if I select it from the pop-down menu, it will send over to JOSM the area, my task square, that I'm responsible for, which is this open area, and the part that I'm not responsible for is the crosshatch area. So we're just going to focus on roads. The two tools that we use most in JOSM are this top one, which is the selection tool, which the uh, keyboard shortcut is just S to select that tool. And then the add tool, and the keyboard shortcut for that is A to select the add tool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right click and hold down, and that's how you scroll around or pan around. And then I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse or two fingers on the trackpad to zoom in and out. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We need to map in roads on this. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to hit the A key to get my add tool, or I could just click on it, but you'll get real used to shortcuts. A key. Generally, when you're mapping, you want to start a little bit outside of your task square. So the next person who maps this task square gets a little piece of your road. So I'm just going to start here, and you sort of, you know, you drop a node wherever you need to change a direction. So I'm just going to, I'm just, by the way, these are left clicks. I'm left clicking to leave a node. So I'm just going to left click all the way through here. Try and follow the road as closely as you can. I would do this whole road, but it's going to take a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop right here after I... Oh, what the heck. Let's go through here. You generally want to leave a node wherever there's an intersection, by the way. So I'm going to make sure I leave a node right here because there's an intersection. So even if you're doing big, long straightaways... Uh, by the way, you also just map, you know, clearly the road goes through these trees. So you just map as if you can see it. Very short distances that are blocked like that, you just map as a road. You wouldn't stop there or anything along those lines. This is all road. Um, here's another intersection, so I'm going to make sure that I leave a node right there. And I'm just basically mapping this. Oh, let's see, I thought I was mapping the main road, but it looks like I might have gone off on a... Yeah, this is kind of a residential road. So I'm just going to stop mapping right here. And the way you stop mapping is clicking again on that last node. <clears throat> I'm going to hit the S key so that I can get back my selection tool. I tend to just work with the selection tool so I don't accidentally start dropping nodes places. So let's see here. I, I made a bit of a mistake here. Uh, this. So if we look at this from high up, this part of the road... This, what I started mapping and where I should have continued to map, this is probably all unclassified because it's connecting small settlements. This little tangent piece of road that I went off on, this is probably a residential road. It only goes to about here, and its only purpose is to serve these buildings. But I'm going to classify this whole thing as unclassified at the moment, and I'll come back and I'll fix this a little bit later. Um, I should split it right here. Splitting a road's pretty easy. We can just do it. So I think this road splits right here. Um, so then I click on that, and I come up to Tools, and I say Split. And now I have two different roads. I have this small road that's here, and I have this larger road that goes off up to the top. So I'm going to go ahead, and what I do is, you can see over here in my Tags panel, I don't have any tags on this nor do I have any tags on this segment. This also tells me I have five nodes. If I click back on this part of the road, I have 44 nodes. So I'm going to go ahead and classify this. In JOSM, the easiest way to do this the very first time is to come up to the Presets menu, slide down to Highways, slide over to Streets, and like I said, I'm fairly certain this is unclassified. So I'm going to give that the unclassified tag. Just like an ID, it's a big form that we can't fill out because we're not local. So all I'm going to do is slide down and say apply the preset. 
And then over here, that gives me my highway equals unclassified tag, and that's exactly what I want. I'm going to go ahead and click on this other segment of road. I'm going to go back up to presets, and I'm going to say highways, streets. This part, I think, is residential, so I'm going to give that the residential tag, a form that I don't have any information for, so I just say apply preset. And now this highway has the residential tag. If I click on this part, you can see that tag track changes to unclassified and this is residential so I'm going to go ahead as long as I have a few more minutes um, and I am going to add a little bit more road and I'm going to show you one other way to put tags on which I think is a lot faster so I'm going to say add I want to start right here at this junction which is why we leave a node at junctions and I just want to go along here and do let's see here probably have to look at this a little bit more closely, but for some odd reason this looked like the continuation of the main road because this is the part that goes off to another. And again, you can map just a couple clicks past your square. I'm going to double click to stop. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. Yeah, that's the road that looks like it continues to me, so that's why I feel like this is the more main road, and this is just a, a small part that's related to these buildings. Um, so again, this has no tag on it. So the way that I generally like to tag things, the way that goes fastest for me, is I click on the segment, and then I say Add. And so you'll get kind of used to this. So you can see I have recently used the Highway equals Residential tag. Um, this is not Highway Residential. This is still part of this unclassified road. So I need to give this the unclassified tag. So I would say add, and then I just generally type these things in. You'll get a little used to it. There's a pop down that gives you all kinds of options, but we know that we're doing highways. So the, the name of this tag is the highway tag, and it auto completes. That didn't go very well. Let's try this again. Forget about the pop down menu. Highway, and then I just tab. And now it wants me to put in the value, and I know the value is unclassified, and you can see it starts to automatically complete as soon as you start typing. Just say OK, and now this has the unclassified tag. You'll get pretty used to that. It's just add, and you know we're basically doing highways, and it's only one of a couple of things. Um, that's the way I would do it. However, using the presets is perfectly fine too. There's also presets here but I generally use the ones in the menu. We're all done, so we need to upload our data. Ah, I'm going to do this one too. What the heck? This looks like a small residential road. So I'm going to go back to Add. I'm going to click on this node. Let's just get this bugger done as long as I'm standing right here. I'm going to map this road. This road does not connect settlements. This is just for servicing houses. Double-click to finish. Add. So this one is residential because it's not connecting settlements. So I'm just going to double click on what I used before and now that one has the residential tag. Escape key, make sure that I don't have anything selected. S key gives me back my selection tool. And that's it. We've basically mapped all the roads in this square. Oh, maybe there's a small one up here. So I'm going to use the upload tool. We almost never use the download tool because the tasking manager downloads the data for us. But we always use the upload. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload. Uh, this gives me a couple of warnings and it tells me that I didn't put names on my two highways. Unnamed ways. They're tagged. If they were untagged, that would be a problem. But these are just unnamed, which is not a problem because we don't know the name. Somebody local will have to fill that in. So I just say continue upload. I automatically have the comment that the tasking manager sent over. Um, I generally go to the end of it and add a little bit. Added roads, just to say exactly what I did. Whatever is in there for the source, this is the source field, um, just leave it. And then go ahead and click on Upload Changes. And that's it. Now I just go ahead and delete my two layers. I don't need this data layer anymore. And I don't need that imagery anymore. And I go back to my tasking manager square. And I'm going to say stop mapping because I also need to do buildings, but there were no buildings. Stop mapping. And that's it. 
Thank you very much. Bye-bye.